Hello, and welcome everyone back to The Last Door, Chapter 2, Part 2. Oh, it's been a crazy day, but I hope everyone's had a great day. And let's continue this. Uh, um, oh yeah, this was, uh, we, we did all this last time. Yeah. So yeah, we read all these notes, uh, in the last episode. And now we're going around exploring some more. Um, we have a postcard. I don't know what we're going to do with the postcard. Uh, that's, that's the back door. I already told you that you could not be there. But, don't worry about it, sir. Okay, she just says the same thing. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we did all this before. Um, we're gonna, I guess, go back this way. Yep, we're gonna come back this way. Oh, uh, well, wait, nope, don't go that way. Alright, since we went that way, I guess let's try and open this door. Mr. David, you are not allowed. You're not allowed around uh, rooms. Or pri okay, those rooms are private. So I guess let's go upstairs. I guess the old te bleh, tapestry. The Virgin Mary with baby Jesus in her arms. Alright. Can we open this door? Oh, we can. A syringe next to a, ne ah, a syringe next to a flask with a label that says morphine. Can I take this morphine? Guess not. Let's talk to this one. Good evening, sister. Sister. All the suffering. All these tears, all our prayers, unanswered. What? What do you mean, sister? All these years, entrusted to the Lord, praying, looking for a sign, for something that can give me strength. Every day I he hear them cry, pray, scream, and die. And what for? Where are you, Lord? Why don't you answer me? Uh, either we can say Lord works in mysterious ways, or maybe there is no Lord. Um, uh, we'll go with this one. Lord works in mysterious ways, sister. Certainly, yes, but I don't ask for much. Just something to go on, a path to follow. I can't go on, not like this. Excuse me, sir. Okay. On the upper shelf of the adequate board. A well-worn Bible in rosary beads gathered dust. One of the humble beds where the nuns sleep. One of the humble beds, okay. An old mirror that hardly reflects. Through the big win open window, dust-cold wind br freezes the room. So we're going out, and we're going this way. A worn out and faded tapestry of Jesus Christ. All right. Another tapestry. Though, I remember from my school days, the student dormitory was here. <gasps> Let me guess, it is there, and we have to find something to cut it open. Okay. A broken mirror. There's a protruding piece. Oh, <gasps> we can use that to cut the thing. Just a couple old towels. The top of the shower. If I open the tab, the shiny object could be carried away by the stream of water. If I open the tab, okay. Do I do that? Nope, nope, that's not what I do. Alright, so it looks like we, yep. Oh, what's that, what's down here? There, there's a puddle in the shower hole with something shiny under the grating. 
Can't see it properly. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Solution, we gotta come back here. Uh, but could I use the mirror on... Yes, I can. The mirror trunk is sharp. Too weak to cut the tape. Uh, it might break. God dang it. No, why don't we just... So what? Go for it. Uh, fine. supposed to do now? Did you say that you cared for patients? Of course, Mr. David. We tend to both the physical and spiritual needs of those in our care. Did you say the monasinor uh, mon already lived here when this venue still was a boarding school? Indeed. He still was a priest and professor before he came Manasnor and started to lead this place. Could I talk? I'm afraid that's impossible. He has left strict instructions that he not be disturbed, not even by any of the sisters. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mother Elizabeth, Mother Baldwin told me that lately a lot of patients are dying. What is happening? Sadly, the Lord is taking many of these unfortunate souls. Who is Mr. Baldwin? Uh, he instructed me to take him on as a caretaker. Many of the sisters find him a bit strange, but he performs his work well and, well and complains little. Thank you, Mother. I leave you with your duties. So I can't go in this door, because she's there. So those are private rooms. I think I've... <laughs> Would I touch my stuff, please? Ms. Ringe, I think this letter is addressed to you. Oh, thank you. Leave it to me. If you'd be so kind, can you see my brother? It's too weak to read it. Well, Matthew, let's see who has written to you. Oh, it's a letter from our mother. Dear Matthew, I hope you are recovering. I wish that your beloved sister and you come back home soon. You know how long Mother feels since you left? You know how alone Mother feels? Okay. She just, I guess, refuses it. Making up the letter's con contents. Okay. Maybe uh, I can grab her stuff now. I can. I got letters. My letters. All the letters I wrote to dear Julie. You never posted them. But why, Mary? Why would you do such a thing? <coughs> how could you be so cruel? I had to do it, Matthew. You refuse to see how inappropriate a match she is for you. Her only interest is in marrying someone of your statu status, of our family status. It was for your sake I did this. I needed to protect you from that woman's treachery. No, you only thought about yourself, of your vanity. I can't bear to look upon you anymore, Mary. Leave me be. From this day forth, you are no sister of mine. Oh, that's horrible. You dare banish me? I have... Uh, I who have stayed by your side all through your illness. Very well, Matthew. You will have your way. I will leave you, and then you will see how very alone you are. Farewell, brother. Damn. That's fucking horrible. Thanks be to the Lord that you have come reveal my sister's cruelty, sir. Please, take this coin as the token of my appreciation. It's my lucky coin, though I hope it serves you better than it has myself. Okay, so now we have a lucky coin. can we do with a lucky coin? Oh yeah, we can go to the showers and grab something that was shiny. Hopefully that's what it is. Nope, guess not. <laughs> well, I fucked that up. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright. Uh, guess we're going this way. Guess we're going. Here. Um, what can I use a coin for? Combine objects. You can use the coin on here. Another tip see though, I remember. Uh, the coin is not sharp enough to cut the tape. Yeah. Alright, so what are we doing here? We got a shard and a coin. Maybe I can bribe her. No, can't bribe her. She's gone. What am I gonna do here? Nope. Alright, uh, I guess. I guess let's keep going this way. Is there something in here that we're supposed to do? I don't. There's an odd sentence written on the board. In death, there is hope. In death there is life. One must seek its true nature to understand the, the nothing. It looks like it has been there for years, as the chalk has faded in some places. Alright, uh, uh, I guess there's nothing in here. I guess let's go outside and talk to this guy. No. No. Let's talk to this guy again. Mr. Baldwin, I can't rightly say after all these years I've never seen the man. Who knows, maybe he doesn't exist. Well, Elizabeth told me that he specifically requested your hiring by letter. I'm flattered my reputation precedes me, but I still can't tell you anything more about the man. Okay, I'll leave you to the work. Oh, I can go farther here. Oh, I can go farther here. An old piece of fishing net. Oh, hell yeah, I'll grab some fishing. Oh my god. What's this? When you use a drift, have perfectly soothed this flotsam into a small log. Well, there we go. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Just made some progress right there. I did not know we can go here. That's crazy. Nope, nope. Don't go back. God dang it. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll come... Maybe I can use the log. Maybe I can use the log to cut the painting? I mean, I would see how a, uh, a log would be able to cut a painting. I guess let's try it out. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, ba -dum. Boom, boom, ba -dum. Boom, boom, ba -dum. Alright, let's see if we can cut this painting with a log. The wooden stick is not sh no. What? Sharpen it. <gasps> Maybe we can sharp- <gasps> The mirror is too thick to pin it in the wood, and it also seems fragile. I could break, break it if I forced it. So what? Do it anyway. Ah, uh, you suck. It wouldn't be useful to tie up the net to the stick. Oh my gosh. Use the net. That has no use. <sighs> Just when I thought I was doing something. What the hell? Sometimes the shiny object could be carried away by the 
stream of water. It wouldn't be. Why? 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 Why do I have this stuff? Oh god. What's this? Oh, there's a pipe from here to other areas in the house. Nah. So maybe I can like mess up some of the piping here and then like they leave? I don't know. Uh, just when I thought I was doing good. What can I do with a log? What the hell am I gonna do with a log? Is there more stuff or something out here? Wait, what? School's emblem. Oh, it's just an emblem. Is there more stuff I have to do out here or something? I don't know. There's nothing else further in the mailbox. Nope, not going this way. Oh my gosh. What do I do? What's this? Eagle lies on the floor. It appears to have broken off of the fountain. <gasps> my gosh. I can use stone to break that. I know it. That is what's happening. That is what's going to happen. I am putting it in. It's going to happen. Stone will break it. Stone ornament is not sh Oh my god! I could damage the wood and stick! Well, why don't you- Why- uh, <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, you're such an ass game. Just when I thought I was okay and I was doing good. <laughs> well. Don't know what the fuck to do with all the materials that I have right now. Guess we're going back in this room and somehow the nun will use the stone. I don't understand. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, would you like a stone? Nope. Guess not. W would you would you like a log? Nope, guess not. What are you doing? Poor one has fallen into an uneasy f sleep. Would you like a stone? Please help. Would you, would, would you like some help? Here, take a stone. Oh god no, I did not I don't wanna talk to you. The blue statue of the Virgin Mary makes this place even more mournful if that is possible. What else am I doing? There's nothing in here. I don't understand. Throw a stone brick at it. Throw a log at it. What the hell am I doing? I don't know. Game, come on, give me something. You took away my mojo. So what do you got for me? Her bag is still there, why? Wait, what? What? Bandage, other medical equipment, nothing of interest. How is that nothing of interest? Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> Do I just keep talking to people? No, I guess not. Nope, still can't go in there. Nope. Maybe, maybe I can tie her up. Nope. Well, fuck. I have absolutely no earthly idea. What the fuck? Uh, 
throw the coin at it, cut it, net it, log it, stone. Nope, nothing. It's too. Why? Oh, game, you make no sense to me. All right, I come in here, and there's nothing for me to do. Okay, the puddle in the shower hole, something shiny under the grating. I can see it properly. I can't see it properly. Maybe I can use the mirror, reflect the light that's right here. What? No. I was about to say, I was like, what the hell was that? Stupid towels. There's nothing in this freaking room. Break the pipe. No. Uh, you guys are probably all like, you're so freaking stupid, man. You're so stupid. Okay, go ahead. Stream the damn water. Oh. What the fuck do I do? so stuck in a game in my life. I've gone everywhere. And I do mean everywhere. He's quite pale. Young boy. He is asleep. Sorry about that, guys. There's several crucifixes all together at the headboard of this bed. Why? Can I throw a stone at it? No. Let's go talk to the grave guy again, I guess. There's a locked wooden coffin, badly damaged. It seems that whoever made it was a bit of a rush to finish. Can I break it with a stone? Nope. Nope. Just damage the stick. Okay. I can't see the use of trying to... I don't know. Maybe it'd be smart. God damn it. Let's talk to you again, man. How you doing? How you doing, sir? Can't say anything else to you because I guess not. The fuck do I do? Let's go back here, I guess. If there's anything over here, I think I picked everything up. The Lost Pilgrim, a C-stat holder, student, older student at the school, used to climb. Somewhere up there are my initials. Got to throw a rock at it. Nope. Can I do that? Throw the mirror. Nope. Oh my goodness. I don't know. <laughs> well guys, this is the second part to the Lost Door Chapter 2. Sorry I haven't really gotten that far. I mean, we got a lot more materials, but I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand. Maybe, maybe I'll figure it out in the next one. I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little rants around picking up objects that are absolutely useless. Watch, it's going to be the most freaking obvious thing in the world. But yeah, thanks again everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you all had a great day. Gosh, thank you for watching. Alright, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.